so I asked the security they said uh, I said what is the event they said we have a comedy show I said really I said yeah and they, they gave me the name of the person so I said why anyone will attend comedy show we have Joe Biden 24 hours 7 and you too <laughs> I was going to say Muhammad Secondly, Takbir, how in the world you call me my friend, you idiot? Don't you know the Quran says that anyone who takes the Christians and the Jews as a friend, he's a Muslim? So you idiot, you just left Islam. Why you do that yourself? He just called me my friend. How you do that? You are a really scary person. Mean. I mean, look how hypocrite you are. You call me my friend when the Quran order you to kill me. What's wrong with those people? Very coward. You remind me of Sheikh Tutu Uthman. You see, you see, uh, David Woody says, "Mashallah, you are six foot." <laughs> he liked tall guys. I mean, come on, this. I mean. There's, um, he is a sheikh who like you know he like tall guys. Mashallah, you are you are, you are looking at his size, uh, but man, and then you take selfie with him, and then you you know call him a friend. I mean, this is the guy who ate the Quran. You potato coward. He's your friend now, and you like how tall he is. And you give him five, and you put your arm under his arm. I mean, what? What? Where are we going? Like somebody stop the guy. He is melting like the snail. Ah! Now we know how the snail melt. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah, you are six foot tall. <laughs> so what if he is five foot? Is not okay. <laughs> yeah, he's six foot tall, huh? Mm -hmm. So do we have any Abdul? I'm not six a foot tall. I'm, you know, like I'm, I think. I don't know. Last time I measured myself, I was like was ninety six foot tall, something like that. I, I will tell you why. Hold on. Let me let me tell you why I'm that tall. Because I go back to Prophet Adam. Bees upon him. And my grand grand grandfather, Prophet Adam, was very, very, very tall. I cannot describe for you how tall he is, according to Prophet Muhammad. He was six floor tall at least. And look, this is one of the graves. By the way, Muslims, they have a grave of Adam in every Muslim country. Look like this Adam was dead everywhere. I think what happened to Adam, he was making suicide belt. Big belt. Because he's big, you know. And then he explodes. And then his parts scattered around the earth. So there is a grave for him in India. There is a grave for him in Pakistan or Pakistan. There is a grave for him in Bangladesh. There is a grave. And there is a grave everywhere. Hmm. Look, look what it says here in the description. Grave of Hazrat Adam A.S. I, I think it's mean his ass or something. Length almost 130 foot, brother. Only? Like, hold on, hold on. I mean, seriously, why you are shorting the guy? 
grave of Hazarat. Hazarat, this is from the Turkish, you know, this is, you know, uh, the Turkish, you know, they, they speak Arabic, they say Hadarat, so they say Hazarat. So you see all those fools in, in, in uh, you know, Pakistan, Indonesia, they say Hazarat, which is stupid. In Arabic, if you say it, people will die laughing at you. Grave of Hazarat, Adam, ass. Length is almost 130 feet, brother. Alhamdulillah, only in Islam, brother. Look at this guy here, look. Knowledge of Islam, Adam alayhi salam. Okay, and now look, the believers are praying over the grave, and the grave is long. Keep going. Like, what the heck? And you notice that the grave is not straight. I mean, the guy, he was making a sandwich, long sandwich. And not only the grave of Adam is like that, you should see the grave of Noah. You should see the grave. Oh, I mean, I can show you tons of grave. Hold on, let me show you. This is the grave of Adam. Is <clears throat> can I make a video about it, brother? Look at this, brother. We were talking today about the flood of Noah. Look what happened to Noah. The poor Noah, he looked like a sandwich, which is from from like uh, seven, uh, what is called? I forgot the name, man. Subway, Subway. <laughs> I mean, the one who designed this great can't make it straight. Look at this guy. I mean, he have a Billy. Is, is, okay, hold on. Why here there's something coming? Do you think they bury him when he was like eating watermelon? What is this? Why? Why, why is the why? Are you, are you sure this is Noah, not his wife? Because it looks like he's Bretnet, she's Bretnet or something. And those graves are all over too. Look like Noah, he died everywhere too. There's a grave for him in Turkey. There's a grave for him in Iran. There's a grave for him in Iraq. There's a grave for him in Syria. There's a grave for him in Egypt. There's a grave everywhere. Brother, as long Sheikh Uthman, he likes size. Is Sheikh Uthman wondering what is the size of uh, <coughs> of his shoes? <laughs> Takbir is coming with a new answer. Look at this. If your God Jesus was God, why did he die so fast on the cross? Why didn't he hold for a while longer? He gave up his soul so quickly. <laughs> My friend, you just answer yourself by yourself. You are just a stupid like your prophet. But your prophet, the difference between you and him, he is certified. So look what you did. You just said he gave up. He gave up his what? This is your words, huh? This is not my words. Huh? So Jesus, he said, nobody can take me from myself. I lay down my soul. So even though you are stupid like your prophet, but you give the correct answer. Because Jesus, he finished. He said, it's all completed. Nobody can take myself from me. I lay down myself. And he said to them, you can destroy this temple and I can rebuild it in three days. However, when Muhammad, he died, the Muslim, they did not bury him for three days. Because Muhammad, he says, that Allah, he made a covenant between us, prophets, and him, that the earth will not decay our body. So the Muslim, they believed him and they did not bury him for three days. And then Muhammadis think, call me, I will make you read the reference and we will laugh at the falafel sandwich of Muhammad. So imagine this is your prophet, he is dead now in the ground. The Muslim, they keep him in Mecca, which is very hot, extremely hot, for three days, three nights. You can imagine the stinky smell of Muhammad. Even the hadith says, Itfunu sahibakum faqad anten. Bury your friend, he is stinky. Who said that? Ibn Abbas. 
in the case of my Lord, nobody can take myself. I lay down myself. Nobody can take it. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jihad. Oh, sorry, Jihad. I did hide your message by mistake. How we can make it come? Hold on, hold on. Uh, view the message. Okay. Uh, Jihad, I, uh, I apologize. I made your message. Let me see if I can make it appear again. Uh, there is no way to put it back, but I, I made a copy of it anyway. So let's put what Jihad he said. Thank you, Jihad, for your comment. It's priceless for me. I hope the Muslim will not accuse me now that you are working for me. I mean, you know, the Muslims, anything is embarrassment. They will say, this guy, he is working for a Christian prince and he gave him some hamburger. I don't know if you like my hamburgers, the one I sent to you yesterday. So look guys, what, what Mr. Uh, Jihad, he said. He's doing Jihad in YouTube. <clears throat> uh, hold on. I took a screenshot. Let me take it again. Uh, all right. All right, now we have the message. We can put it in the screen. Look what Mr. Jihadi said. You guys are LGBT. We? Okay, we will talk about LGBT now just for helping you promoting pagans who poor libations and invoke dead spirit Ugh. first of all talking about lgbt i think you are talking about gays and lesbian right lesbian and gays you know look at this your god in the quran says if somebody is a gay hurt him interpretation says beat him by sandals well, if you do that to a gay, he will love it. In the Bible, the punishment is so harsh. So the LGBT is promoted in the religion of Islam. This is your Quran. Can you refute it? And if we go and read the interpretation, we will see that is speaking that you beat them with sandals. If they repent, you let them go. However, your prophet himself was LGBT. And this is the proof. Your prophet, he used to put eyeliner three times a day. He used to wear his wife clothes. And not only that, he used to like to kiss men and men kiss him down his belly. And he take off his shirt and they take off their shirt so they can hug each other. So, what do you think about Muhammad being a member of the LGBT, Mr. Jihad? Are you with me? Is that how prophet of God he act? He poke a man under his, he's not wearing a t-shirt. The man he says, <laughs> and this is not fair, you are, not wearing, you are wearing your t-shirt, I'm not. So the prophet, he take off his t-shirt. And now both of them are naked and now they start hugging and touching each other and then the guy he start kissing the prophet down his belly and then the guy this he said this is what i want don't stop are you there mr lgbt i'm not going to explain to you what uh, don't stop mean right same time let us go to different hadith when the Muslim they came and they complained to the caliphate of man about a homosexual, he is leading them in the prayer. He was what? He was the Imam. Hmm? Okay. Uh... Actually, if you read the hadith, you will see in every every house in Mecca there's a there's a gay. Even the Muslim themselves they say that the uncle of Muhammad he don't cool down except his anus except by the water of men this is in your books 
but let's go here, you know. Uh, here we go, read with me carefully. I went to Uthman ibn Affan, this is the caliphate where the Muslim killed him, for he made the Quran. And they took off his beard when he was alive, one by one. He said to him, you are the chief of the Muslim in general, you see what's feeling to you, okay, and blah, 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 blah. And then he says, we are led by a leader of al-fitna, between two brackets, trials and afflictions, etc. Mean this person is doing trial to the Muslims, affliction to the Muslims. And we are afraid of being sinful. The Muslims are afraid of being sinful by following him. What's happening? What, who's he? In following him, Uthman, look, this is the same name of the Uthman, the potato burqa guy. He said, as salah to the prayer is the best of the deeds. So when people do good deeds, do the same. Okay, makes sense. And then the guy, he said, but as Zohri said, in our opinion, one should not offer salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. Are you there, Mr. Jihad? The caliphate, he has no problem of a member of the LGBT to be the imam of the mosque. You see it? Now, can you show me the same in the Bible? Feel free. Good luck. Right? In the top of that, your Quran promise you, غُلْمَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ Little boys, who they are very sexy and they are very white like pearls in the heaven. What they would do, why they are so handsome, why they are so pretty, what you would do with them. <clears throat> and by the way here here you see the Islamic this is exactly the Islamic teaching this person look how hypocrite he is he is going to the caliphate saying complain that this gay is go, is tempting them they are getting tempted by the ass of a gay well how you can be tempted by the ass of a man unless you are a gay too Are you with me, Jihad? Why this person saying we are going to be tempted? He is a leader of affliction and trials. What is, what is the trial they are going through? What kind of a trial you are going through, Mr. Osh, uh, Mr. Jihad? A gay is praying to Allah in front of you. What is the trial and the temptation you are going through unless you are a gay yourself? So obviously the whole society is a homosexual. Actually, if you read my book, you will find all the people of Mecca are homosexual. Even those who don't believe in Muhammad. Not only Muhammad. And they're proven in front of you. They are tempted and they are complaining, we will be tempted. Okay, you'll be tempted by what? The guy is just bending over praying to Allah in front of you. This is why it's not safe to go to the mosque. The guy behind you is looking at your ass. Trial. What is the trial? You are a man and he is a man. What, where is the trial coming from? Anyway, those who will download the video, I will make this one as an exception. You can download it and post it right away. But please, for the coming videos, uh, download the video, but don't post it right away. Wait for people to watch. Leave your comment for me so I can make a you know topic about it before you post the video. They like wait for let's say 24 hours. After the video is made, wait 24 hours, but you can download the video right away. So we can see the comment of the Muhammadan. As you see, Muslim comments, they, they make a topic for us. Otherwise, we will be done from a long time. But the Muslims are helping us. You know? Here we go. Muslims get tempted by the ass of a person playing in front of them. I mean, if there's a thousand gay in front of me, why I would be tempted? You tell me. You will get tempted by something you like. Very simple. Correct, guys? You know, if if the if the imam is a female and she is a beautiful and okay, she they are tempted, 
she is bending over in front of them and they cannot hold themselves because Islam is a very civil, civil uh, religion. Very civil, you know, extremely civil. Today, a Somalian guy, he attacked four Christian ladies in Italy and he put a knife in the chest of a six uh, uh, years old boy in Italy. And the stupid Italian, they want to bring more refugees. Uh, bring, good for you. <clears throat> very, very civil religion. Hmm? But think about it. Why, the, why he is complaining? He complained about what exactly? You know, Muslims, Muslim men, they should not. Muhammad, he told them that you should not wear certain clothes, like you should not show your knee. Why? Because it's a aura. Okay. Okay. What? What? What will happen if he show above his knee? They will be tempted. So how come Muhammad he show his thigh? How come Muhammad he show himself naked? Right? USA is taking refugee. Well, at least here, I mean, the number of Muslims is very small compared to the population. All this refugee is garbage. I mean, I mean, garbage act because simply those who they. Uh, 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 the garbage government of the uh, the garbage Western government, they do always garbage act by doing things that does not make sense. Here we go. People who did not run away from Afghanistan, did the Taliban kill them? No. They hired them. All the army of Afghanistan, who used to be the army trained by USA, is now getting salary from Taliban. So everything was a lie. They switch because they don't have really those people. They don't, whoever whoever paid them, they will go inside, and they took the side of the American because they pay them. Give them salary, they will switch. But we care what you can do. I mean, we have a stupid government. You know the thing. Make a video on Quran 361, just for seven. Allah fails. Well, you know, we have many topics to talk about, my friend. All right. Do we have any 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 question? <clears throat> any question? Yeah, actually, Afghanistan does not deserve our protection. And they don't deserve our, you know, everything we did to them. They did not fight. I mean, three hundred thousand soldiers, and Taliban. They are sixty thousand. Why? Why this happened? Because nobody fight. They don't care. <laughs> right? So what? What are you talking about? Obviously, they want to. Uh, you see, this is the proof that they will not be killed, and they knew that. Otherwise, they will fight. If, if a person he knew that those Taliban will kill him. He will never give up his weapon and he will never, you know, uh, uh, let them take over. But anyway, this is a joke. <clears throat> the Bible channel. But, you know, you see, uh, we, are, we are here, you know, staying here and still nobody is coming. Honestly, if it's not... If, if it's not, I will feel guilty not to serve the Lord. I will give up coming even in YouTube. Honestly. Because people who make five minute videos for you, they don't give you the offer. They don't spend their life fighting this this garbage. They don't have knowledge. Yet people watch their videos by hundreds of thousands. We stay with you for hours. Maybe because I stay with you for hours. Maybe I should make a video two minutes, five minutes, and that's it. Post it and don't come here. I will try that. Sometimes I ask myself, why when I come back? I did not even watch the video I made just yesterday. No, 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 you are not here. You see, I mean, 754 people. This is not, this is nothing. 
We should have here 7,000 at least. I am the best Christian in USA? That's not true. I'm not the best of anyone. 